I'm coming, hold on. Oh, Derpy. Hello. Uh, um, hey. Still no sign of Lyra? <sighs> no. No sign of her at all. No pony seen her. Or Dr. Talk, for that matter. Yeah. I'm sorry. Me too. Um, anyway, I've got a letter for you. Oh, really? Who's it from? Uh, I don't know. He just said he was a friend of yours. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, here you go. Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh, thank you for bringing me this derpy. I'd give you a carrot as a tip, but uh, I kind of ate all of them. Stress eating? <laughs> to put it mildly, the candy shop owner's going to be mad. It's okay, I understand. Have a nice day, Bonbon. Bon. You too, derpy. Okay, Scout, what have you got? Dear Bonbon, bon, I must admit, I'm surprised to be hearing from you. And don't worry about weighing me down with the old times or anything. I enjoyed doing this for you. It's been too long since I got to really do some real work. But at any rate, you wanted me to find Lyra, and... I am sorry, but I was unable to locate her. I followed every lead and source I could think of in the time frame you provided, and nothing. It's as if she just vanished off the face of Equus. There is no trail for me to follow. I'm sorry, Sweetie Drops, but there's nothing else I can do for now. I will keep my eyes open, though, and let you know if anything crops up. Signed, Scout. Oh... Lyra, where did you go? What happened to you? D did I do something wrong? Hey, Bonnie, I'm home. What? Lyra? Uh, yes? Who else would... Bonbon? Are you crying? What happened? Are you okay? I should be asking you that! <laughs> oh, I was so worried about you! Where have you been these last ten days? <laughs> Wait... Ten days? I wanted ten minutes. Ten minutes! Why, oh why did you send us ten days into the future? Uh, pff, she has a girlfriend! Bon Bon is going to be worried about her. And everyone is going to think it was my fault. I can't exactly tell them that my big shiny blue box that's bigger on the inside and even bigger on the personality decided to make us late for kids and shiggles. How believable of a story do you think that is? Ah, <sighs> jeez Louise! Marvelous! How am I supposed to fix this then? I... 
I did say you're bigger in the personality. Yes. Huh? Ow! What was that for? Ugh, I need to go deal with this. You? I don't know. <sighs> I'm feeling better already. Nothing like some fresh air to... You! Who the heck are you? What did you do to Lyra? Bonbon, bon. wait. Don't hurt him. Shut up, honey. Your girlfriend is working. Ow! What do you have to say, huh? Uh, Answer me! Bonnie, you're kind of stepping on his lungs. <coughs> <sighs> Okay, now that you can breathe, I'm going to ask you again. What did you do to my girlfriend? Bonbon, bon, please. He didn't hurt me. He saved my life from a monster. And then he showed you a planet with pink skies, polar bear sloth people, and a giant talking computer in a magma chamber. Sure. I smell hallucinogens. What? I don't even have... <laughs> And I smell lies. You kidnapped my girlfriend for ten days. No amount of excuses is going to save you from me. Bon Bon, please stop. Hush. I'll be talking to you later. Lyra, she has a needle. A what? Where were you hiding that? Places. Now, you. Ugh. Oh, sleep. But I don't want to sleep. It's the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you do? High-level sedative, normally used to subdue monsters. Bon Bon. Shh! You hush and come with me. Um, you're dragging him. Yep. Aren't you going to carry him? Nope. <sighs> All right. Oh, why is the what? What? Ow! Blimey, that's bright. Can you turn it? Shut up. Uh bon bon. We're in Twilight's castle. What are we doing here? Where's Lyra? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Well, yes, I would. She's my friend. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Uh-huh. I see you really went all out with the whole interrogation room thing. Only one light, stupidly bright, shining in my face. You've got no windows, one door, a marvelously boring wooden table, and some shoddy metal folding chairs. Gotta say, I like it. Stop talking. You will only speak when we ask you a question, and you are only to tell the complete and total truth. Is that understood? Wait, we? Look behind you. Whoa, Princess Twilight? <laughs> the one and only. She'll be making sure you're telling the truth. Don't even think of trying to be clever. She takes better notes than any pony else in Equestria. Well, I'm not so sure about- And she will know if you're lying to me. And trust me, you don't want to lie to me. Lies make me angry. <laughs> and you do not want me angry with you. I know ponies. They can make sure you never see the light of day again. All I need to do is ask. So, you gonna tell the truth? I suppose I have no choice. Alright, what's question one? Who are you? I am the doctor. Doctor who? Just the doctor. Well then, Doctor the... Huh. As I remember it, you were reported to have swapped places with a local astronomy and geology expert, Doctor TikTok. Lyra reported that he exploded with golden lights and sparkles. And then you took his place. 
And she then suggested that you claim to be Tech Talk. But that is impossible. The only thing you and him have in common is a cutie mark, and those aren't too hard to replace with some fur dye. I can only assume teleportation magic of some description. Is that right? Oh, it is the same cutie mark. I'm sure you can check for dye just fine. Are you asking the princess to touch your flank? Don't put words in my mouth. That's my job. Both of you, hush. Huh. Okay, that's actually your fur. Told ya. Princess Twilight, didn't your student, Starlight Glimmer, once steal cutie marks from others? Is it possible that some pony else could replicate that spell to steal cutie marks and slap them on some pony else? Oi! I do not steal cutie marks. I accidentally took someone else's essence once, but that's a totally different point. Stole someone's essence? Explain. You sure you want to know? It's kind of a long, complicated, and completely insane story. We have plenty of time. I can take notes, and Pinkie Pie exists. I think we can manage. Touché. So, let's hear it then, Doctor. Alright. Well, it all happened when I was just a fool. What is taking them so long? I know they're interrogating him, but this is getting stupid. How did this happen? I was just supposed to ask Bonbon bon to come with us in the TARDIS. TARDIS? What's that? The TARDIS spike. It's a blue box. An amazing blue box that can go anywhere in time and space. It's bigger on the inside, has a personality, and... and is probably why I'm late coming home. I'm going to pretend that any of that made sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense once you've been inside it. I'll take your word for it. Oh, that must be the mail. I'll go get it. You stay here. You're on orders not to leave, don't forget. <sighs> I know. Spike, some mail for Princess Twilight. Anything for me? Um, let me see. Ah, here you are. Yes! Issue number 13! Thanks, Derpy! Wait. Derpy? Derpy! Huh? Lyra? You're back? Lyra, hey! You're not supposed to leave that room. You're under orders. You hush. Derpy, there you are. You're under orders? To not leave the lounge. Back there! Hush. <laughs> Grown-ups are talking. Well, Bonbon bon will be happy to know you're all right, if nothing else. Yeah. Who do you think ordered me in the lounge? Oh. Uh, why did she order you to stay in a lounge? Because I'm in trouble, Derpy. And so is TikTok. <gasps> is he with you? Did you find him? Is he okay? Yeah, he's in the castle. I bet he'll love to see you again. Can I come in? Sure. Come on in and make yourself at home. <laughs> we'll have to wait here until they're done interrogating him. Interrogating him? Oh no, what did he do? According to my girlfriend, he kidnapped me. In reality, he saved my life. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, are you gonna let go of his mouth? Maybe if he can shut up. <clears throat> Tell me everything. What happened to him the day the rock attacked? How did you find him? How did he save your life? Alright, uh... You may want to brace yourself. It's all kind of a lot to take in. And that 
is how I stole someone's essence, scared away a race of space vampires, lived my life, died, regenerated, saved Lyra's life, and went to space. Did you get all of that? Um... More or less? Ugh. Okay, Doctor. That was a very fun and entertaining story, but I would like you to tell me the truth now. Uh, I was telling the truth, Miss Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> you, you're, you're kidding. Huh? Am I missing something? I would have known if you were knowingly lying. A high-level lie detection spell has been placed over the entire room. But you believed absolutely everything you've just said. Well, yes. I believe it because it's true. You... are... insane! Well, I mean, I am a mad pony with a box, so... Well, you might believe everything you've said, but there is a problem. If you believe something, whether or not it's true, the spell won't be able to tell that it is incorrect. But everything you just told us gives me more than a little reason to be concerned for your mental health. Wow, really? I never would have guessed. This guy. Just hold still, Doctor. I'm going to use a few spells on you to check for mental illness or damage. Go right ahead. Wait, what? Two hearts? What? what? Two hearts? You have two hearts? How? How is that possible? This is news to me too. I only ever had the one. Where did... Oh, oh, I see. Regeneration. New buddy. The Time Lord genetics must have finally kicked in all the way. No. No! Shut up! You shut up with all of this crap about Time Lords and regeneration and aliens! Ugh! I don't know who you are, I don't know what you are, and I don't rightly care. But I do know that I believe one thing that you have said today. Uh, <laughs> and what would that be? That you are not a pony. You're something else. And I am going to do what I was trained to do. Wait, what? I am going to get rid of the monster in the room. <clears throat> Princess Twilight? <gasps> this is amazing! Two hearts? Oh my gosh, you've got to tell me more. Does having two hearts hurt or is it comfy? Do they share a rhythm? What are the golden sparkles? What's a Time Lord? Can I run some tests on you? Can I get a tissue sample? Do you explicitly need both hearts? What? Yes, of course I need both of my hearts, and no, you can't have one! Where's your blue box? What's it made of? Do you hibernate? Can you use magic? Can you do the golden light thing for me so I can see? Princess! Please, get a hold of yourself! Whatever this thing is, no matter how exciting he is, he kidnapped Lyra! I do not plan on letting him off the hook. I, uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> Sorry. Bonbon, bon, please. Shut Twilight, please teleport us to Canterlot Castle. Celestia can figure out what to do with him. All right. I'm sorry, Bonbon. Bon. I got excited. You, Doctor, stand up and come with me. That's the story, Derpy. Huh. You don't believe me, do you? I do. Huh? huh? Well, I mean, all of the crazy stuff that just happens around Twilight is a good starting point. Plus, I got trapped in a comic book once. You did? Yep, I've been on a few adventures in my time, don't you know? Point taken. So, you... you really think that this Dr. Fella is... My doctor talk? Derpy, I don't just think so. I know so. Lyra, Spike, and Derpy? Hi. I tried to stop her, I really did! 
Uh, he isn't a very good guard, is he? Hey! Anyways, you three stay here. I'm taking Bonbon bon and the doctor to Canterlot. Celestia will pass final judgment on him. Wait, what? Twilight, don't. Uh, uh, what? Lyra, let go of my leg! We were friends back in Canterlot, right? Please don't have him executed for old time's sake. For me, please. Uh, I don't plan on it! Celestia probably won't make that kind of order either. Would you let me go? Twilight, you know and I know that this is absolutely ludicrous and that you cannot do this. Celestia knows we to make the right choice, okay? The doctor's gonna be fine. I, There's nothing to not worry crazy. about. TikTok? Talk. Is that you? Hello, Debbie. How? How can it be you? Are you really? Derpy. Yes. It's me. How do I know? If I weren't, then how could I remember the day of Cranky and Matilda's wedding? I brought you into my home that day. I told you about my cutting edge theory to make time come forward to you. I explained how I'd been studying science my whole life. When I couldn't get my suit tailored on time for the wedding, I came onto the steps of the town hall wearing a scarf that was longer than I was. I asked you, how do I look? And you said, and I quote, like a million bits. You hugged me. You went in. And the flameless fireworks were ignited by Cranky and Matilda's love for one another. It was one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. If I were any pony else, how could I be able to tell you all of that? Doc? Hello. <clears throat> uh, well, we should probably get a move on. Yes, we should. You can let me go at any time, Lyra. Take us with you. Huh? I... Uh, I want to be there, whatever the verdict is. Me too. Duppy, you don't have to- I want to, Doc. Please. <sighs> okay, fine. Every pony, get close and grab on. Ready. Good. Here we go. <laughs> uh, they'll be fine. Hello, Twilight. I was not expecting you. And you brought guests. Yes. Sorry for coming without writing ahead, but this is a unique case. We aren't interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> no, Twilight. Court is having a recess for the time being. Everything is spinning. Is she gonna be okay? Ma. Probably. You don't get to talk, Doctor. Sweetie Drops, what has happened? This pony calling himself the Doctor is not, in fact, a pony. He has two hearts, is clearly insane, and he kidnapped my girlfriend for ten days. He didn't kidnap me. Hmm. Two hearts, you say? I can confirm what Sweetie Drops is saying. The Doctor here has two hearts beating in his chest. What's odd is that he was genuinely surprised by this fact. I'm worried he might have a few mental disorders of some kind. He told us some stupidly impossible story about time travel and blue boxes and aliens. But he seems to believe everything he has said, no matter how utterly impossible all of it is. I see. Well then, Doctor, what do you have to say on this matter? That said blue box is laughing her cloister bell off right now, and I'm the victim of a prank. That is all. As I said, insane. Hmm. And you. Lyra Heartstrings, was it? I remember you. You were in my school. One of Twilight's classmates, isn't that right? Uh, 
Yes, your highness. Uh, it's, a uh, good to see you again. Likewise, my little pony. What is your side of the story? Uh, well, I can tell you that the doctor is telling the truth about everything he told them. He didn't kidnap me either. He saved my life from a monster. After that, I chose to go with him for a little while. We were supposed to be back a lot sooner, but I guess something went wrong on the return trip. He's innocent, and he's a good stallion. Hmm... Lyra, how much of that can you really believe? Most of it is outright impossible. You weren't there, Bonbon. Bon. I was. Please, can't you just trust me? I... I want to, but none of this makes any sense. He must have drugged you or something. Illusion magic, maybe. Actually, sweetie, there is some truth to his story. I can already confirm that. You can? Doctor, let me see your eyes. Um, right. Of course. These eyes, they are young, yet old. They carry the weight of a thousand years, but rest in the skin of a child by comparison. Burdens, regrets, pains beyond measure. I know. Because you see them every time you look into a mirror, don't you? Yes. Looking into eyes like these, I can see the truth from the lies. I know what to look for. Doctor. Now that I really look at you, you seem... familiar. Have we met before? Uh, no. I don't think so, anyway. I mean, we might have from your point of view. Time travel and all that, it can get confusing. I can vouch for that. Don't encourage him! Hmm... Sister, there you are. Do you have a moment to... Doctor? Huh? How do you know that name? Have we met? What? But... Why? How? What are you doing here? What's going on? Uh... This creature is being judged for abducting my girlfriend. For the last time. He saved my life. Stop shouting. All of you, please calm down. Do you know him, sister? Yes, I do. I met him a long, long time ago. Do you not remember me, Doctor? I... might not have met you yet. I see. Well... Whatever you are accusing him of, Special Agent Sweetie Drops, I can assure you of his innocence. Special Agent? What? But... but your highness! He is pardoned in full, and I will not hear any complaint about it. That is the end of it. Well, did not see that coming. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, yes. Now I recognize you, Doctor. Forgive me. I did not know you as well as my sister did the last time you were here. I was here before, eh? Well, I look forward to it. It hasn't happened for me yet. Yes. I'm sure you are. Celestia? So, he's free to go? Of course. Twilight Sparkle, please see them all back to Ponyville. Okay, but... How do you know him, if you don't mind my ah, asking? Wait. Don't answer that while I'm here. Spoilers and all that. Yes, of course. Spoilers. I shall explain it to you later, Twilight. Okay. Alright. Come on. Every pony get close. <sighs> I'm sorry, Bonbon. Bon. Can we talk about this at home? <sighs> sure. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Oh, and Doctor? Yeah? I am sorry. I know it was not your fault. What do you mean? 
You're all back! That was quick! Yeah, it was. Hmm. What was Luna sorry for? <sighs> Honestly, I don't really care about that right now. I'm just glad this is all sorted out. It's not all sorted out, Lyra. He may be pardoned, but I still have more than a few questions for him. Fair enough, I suppose. I have a few questions, too. Oh? Well... By all means. Wait, no! Don't take this away from me! Oh, brother. Ahem. Now. Where do you come from? Is the name Doctor a title, or are your naming conventions really practical? Do you really have high blood pressure? What alien species have you met? Have you ever probed any pony? Now wait a moment! <laughs> <laughs> Down, girl. Shush! As I was saying, how do you know the princesses? What's my future like? And, and, can I please see this magic box? Think of all the essays I could write! Is there a bug in here, or...? Uh, right. Well, uh, to answer your questions in order... <clears throat> here, yes, very, plenty, uh, sort of. Wait, no. Ew, I have no idea. Spoilers! Not that I know them anyway. And... maybe? I did try to warn you. What? It's interesting! I mean... aliens! Weren't you calling him crazy earlier? Uh, <laughs> well, even geniuses can be wrong on occasion. And Celestia and Luna both said he's the real deal, and they can never be wrong, and you are wrong if you ever even suggest that. What about that time- Not now, Spike! Well, uh, I suppose we're free to go then? I mean, I would love an intellectual chat about causality and butterfly effects, but we have some, uh, personal business to conclude. Oh, right. Well, can I see it another time? When you're done with that, maybe? Please? Sure, we'll be back in an hour or two, I'm sure. Yo! Oh, let go of my tail! Come on, Doc. Hey! Wait a minute! Ugh, let's just get home. I have a migraine. R right. All right then. See you in an hour. Hopefully, from your perspective. Oh, so this is your house, Lyra? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. We've got seats. Every pony sit down. Okay. Okay. So let me see if I have this straight. You're an alien. Uh, kinda, sorta. Yeah. I come from Equestria, but I have the genetics and memories of a thousand-year-old alien mixed in. Okay. So you're a pseudo-alien with a blue box that can travel through time. Yes. It's so much fun. You should give it a shot, Bonnie. Lyra, please be quiet for a second, okay? Just... Doctor, if this box of yours can go to anywhere in time and space, why did you come back ten days after you left instead of, I don't know, ten seconds? <sighs> okay. See, my blue box is a living thing. And it decided to bring us back ten days late as a prank. Probably to get back at me for letting an alien child run around inside of a... What? It was adorable. And it's bigger on the inside? Quite. My blue box is larger on the inside. Which is amazing. How does that work? Very cleverly. Ugh. I don't know what to think about all of this. Tell you what. You and Lyra can just... Spend a little while, relaxing and talking everything over, alright? I'll head back to my box and bring it over in a little while. You can see it for yourself, and... Maybe, if you want to. We could go with him, see the universe, all of space and time, go on adventures. 
I... Uh, don't know. Why me, Doctor? Why us? Because Lyra was the first pony this face saw. It was, in a way, my fault that she was attacked by a monster to begin with. And it was my responsibility to set things right. And besides, she... helped me make a choice. She helped me make a promise that I do not plan to ever break. I would love it if she came with me. No pony should have to travel the universe all on their own. Getting to see what wonders there are out there and getting to share that experience with her? That would be wonderful. But you are her girlfriend and I do not want to get in the way of your relationship. It has to be both of you or neither of you. Just give him a chance, eh? <laughs> what could it hurt? I don't know. Just picture it, okay? You and me, time and space, running through the stars, seeing things no pony alive today will ever get to see. Going on adventures, you and me together, all of creation right through a pair of blue doors. I'll leave you three to discuss. Is it exciting? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. I was chased by a vampire, saw an alien world, and then kicked a giant evil robot in the face so hard it had to reboot. <sighs> it's so exciting. I don't know. I mean, I used to do that kind of stuff for a living. I chased monsters, I kept Equestria safe from them. I sent a freaking bugbear to Tartarus. You did? Yeah. Don't go telling any pony, though, okay? This is top secret special agent stuff here. Oh, okay. Then this should be right up your alley, Bon. You'd love it. The difference is that before the agency was dissolved, when I still did those things, I hadn't met you. The only pony really at risk when I was working was me. Every time I went on a mission, I was the only one chasing or being chased. I was the only one in danger. I was a loner. I could act more freely because I didn't have anything to lose. Oh. But then I met you, Lyra. And you're everything to me. I couldn't live with myself if you got hurt. Especially if I could have done something to stop it. I don't want you in harm's way. And I don't want to put you in harm's way either. Then why are you asking me to go with him? Because, Bonnie, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. It never matters. We could be fishing for a giant fish and a dying star, or go skydiving from space. We could be running from a giant alien monster with, like, tentacles or something. We could be listening to a musical performance with the worst acoustics ever. The point is that... As long as I'm with you, no matter what we're doing, I'm happy. Myra. Aww. So what do you say? Play nice, okay? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Lyra and Bon Bon's house, one hour later. <laughs> yeah, one hour later. Good. Lyra, Bon Bon, Derpy. Lyra and I are coming for one trip. Just to see if you're all she cracks you up to be. That is totally fine by me. Come on in. Oh, you redecorated. <laughs> it's all wooden and stuff. Hey, yeah. Uh, I set the desktop theme to look like my house here in Ponyville. I bet a familiarity never hurt anyone. But, uh, how? 
How is this bigger on the inside? Remember? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Go ahead. Look around, get comfy. Don't push any buttons. I'll be along in a minute. Okay, Doctor. Come on, Bonnie. Let's see what he's done with the place. It's bigger on the inside. This is so... <laughs> Doc? Debbie? You, uh... You want to come with us? I would love to have you aboard. Are you sure? It would be my honor, Debbie. I... I'd love to talk, but... What? But I can't. How come? I... I know that you are TikTok. I can tell. But at the same time, you're not my TikTok. You have this new face, new voice, new personality, and your eyes are so different. My TikTok was always cheerful, quirky, eccentric. His eyes were always shining along a giant dorky smile. He was fun, he was weird, he could ramble on and on for hours and hours, and I would never get bored of it. But you're different. You're serious, you're snarky, you're sarcastic. The light in your eyes, it's gone dark. You're in pain, you're confused, I don't really know you anymore. And from what I've learned today about your past, I wonder if I ever really did. Ah, uh, you heard about all that then, huh? I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. But I have to ask, are you sure? No, and that's the problem. That's okay, Debbie. Maybe you'll change your mind. We'll swing by and visit sometime, yeah? Okay. Good luck, Doctor. You too, Debbie. Just know that there will always be a place in the TARDIS if you want to come along someday. See you later. I know. Doctor? You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Derpy didn't want to come, did she? Alright, you two. What do we want to do first? See an alien planet? Visit a major historical event? Just find a nice spot in space and enjoy your view? Give me something! Take us to a zoo. What? Take us to an alien petting zoo. I spent my life chasing monsters. Maybe I'd like to pet one for a change. I like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, and uh, Bon Bon, before we go, there is one more thing I want to say to you. What? This room we're in right now. Yeah, she's the one that kidnapped Lyra. Oh, really? Turnabout's fair play, my lovely. <laughs> Now then, let's go see what we can find. One alien petting zoo in this marvelous, magical universe coming right up. This has been Doctor Who's Living Legacy, Episode 4, The Biggest Mystery. The Legacy Doctor was voiced by Geeky Sonic. Lyra Heartstrings is voiced by Kenzie VA. Bon Bon and the voice of the TARDIS's bleeps were both done by Anna Melody. The voices for Derpy, Spike, and Celestia were all provided by Izzy Fizzy. Twilight Sparkle was voiced by I'm Shadow 007. 
Luna was voiced by Vladi Voices. Scout was voiced by Tone Shift. The music in this episode came from various sources, including but not limited to various tracks from the official Doctor Who soundtrack composed by Murray Gold, Radiarch, Vince Vept, Lucas King, Epidemic Sound, and more specifically to this episode, TPR's cover of the trial theme from Chrono Trigger. Many of the sound effects used in this episode came from freesound.org, with some others coming from Epidemic Sound or stripped directly from Doctor Who. Doctor Who is owned by the BBC, and My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is owned by Hasbro and DHX Media. This is a fan-made project with nothing but love and passion for both franchises, with no copyright infringement intended and no profit made whatsoever. Please support the official release of both franchises. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, and we hope you enjoyed. <laughs>